cleaning her up for pictures. Look how broke and gentle she is. You just can't trust any horse like this. If you got kids that like to run up to them and run all up underneath them, <laughs> this is definitely your horse. All right, we are tacking up Miss Sheba. She puts her head so low, even putting the halter on, because she knows that bit, when it's time to do that, she needs to put her head all the way down for you and help her put the bridle on. So she says, I assist you. I am good at that. Nothing is holding her right now. She's just staying in there free in the barn alley. You can pop a whip off of her on one side and shake a tarp and run it all over her on the other and she will just keep knocking off a four beat rack like you're not even up there. I don't think that you could spook this horse but we're about to try every way we know how. And you can enjoy the video. All right, here is Kristen. She is about to get on Miss Sheba here at the mounting block. And she is gonna take her around the track. So we're gonna get up here in the center while she starts walking. This girl stretches out, she neck reins. And wait till you see her run and walk. You would swear to goodness she just came out of a show barn. She looks like $10 million. She's got that deep reach in the back end, which we all love. And she's got some front end action to die for. And when you hear that, you start thinking, okay, so she's gonna be rough. That's the first thing I think when somebody says a lot of front end action. Oh no, I want you to pay attention to Kristen and watch how she does not move. This girl has got it going on in every way. She's probably the brokest horse we've ever had at this farm, as far as there's nothing that rattles her. One of the benefits of being 10 years old, even though my colts, I will put them up against her as far as being gentle, but as far as being exposed to everything, there's just no way to do that when they're two, three, four years old versus a 10 year old. That movement y'all look at Kristen look how smooth that girl is don't like mares and that is certainly your prerogative. I know there are times that gildings are better to have because there are some mares that act a fool when they're in heat. Well all the mares are in heat here and all my studs are here and do you hear her making a sound or a knicker? It's almost as if she's not even a mare. I'm gonna do a little neck reining action with Miss Sheba. She became from Shelbyville, Tennessee, the world champion walking horse world. I love those one-handed horses. It gives you the other hand for whatever it is that you're drinking. Very nice. Oh, she was gonna make a smile. <laughs> All right, we're gonna take Miss Sheba through some spooks here. You know those horses that are scared of round bales of hay? Yeah, it used to be legacy. Always cracks me up. It's like, um, you do know that's your food, right? But for some reason, those big round bales of hay are just scary as they can be. She said, I'm smart enough to realize that this is not scary. <laughs> She's not smarter than the average bear. <laughs> Kristen jumped off of her and jumped back on. bring her up to see the tractor and some of the other big farm machinery equipment over here. 
you know, the typical things that scare your horses. I believe if you had a little more room on the back of that trailer, I believe you could get her to get right up on it. <laughs> I believe I just heard an eagle screaming in the distance. Did you hear that? Do you even notice the ears? Like she very rarely even puts her ears up. And that just kind of tells you she's not even she's not even worrying about it. She's not even really thinking about what she's hearing. She's just relaxed. All right, we're gonna bring her over here and show her a little bit more equipment. We got a swimming pool over here. Got a big truck. And another flatbed trailer. And then on the other side of that, we've got what will be a new barn or maybe even a new house going up. We were putting up a new barn and Bryce said he just might use some of that stuff and just build a new house with it. Try trying to get the right angle there so you can see her but not be overdone. We are moving our obstacle course to the trail so you can see what's left of it there which that old bridge we've just got to burn that. It had had it anyway. nice. All right, here is Miss Sheba checking out some more of the farm equipment. Very nice. She said if there's food in it, I'll stick my head in there. I don't care. All right, we're going to get the flag. We're going to get the poppets. And we're going to let you see some more stuff she does. All right, we've got the American flag. We are being highly patriotic here. You want to carry a flag? Want to be in a parade? Want to have sirens and horns and everything else around her? She does not care. Again, brokest mayor we've ever had at the farm. I cannot do this with my horse, I will not lie y'all. The second he sees it, we're way over there by the fence. And of course, you've got to ride one-handed when you're carrying a flag. So to get him good and stopped and away from the fence, I have to drop the flag. And it's really pain in the butt. Really big pain in the butt. Now she does need her teeth floated. As you can see that with the bit. And we are going to be floating her teeth. So that will stop. But unfortunately, right now, she does need her teeth floated. We were kind of hoping to wait on the video for that. But since I've got somebody wanting to see it, we're just going to go ahead and get this done. All right, let's do some poppets. Oh, dud. <laughs> Another dud? What's happening here? Ha-ha, pop it. That was a good one. Whether you just want a trail riding horse that's bomb proof, or maybe you need a field trial horse that you can shoot on or shoot off of, shoot around, this is your girl. I watched a guy hold her tail and ski behind her while a man and his very young son were on her. The man was riding in the saddle sitting the boy was standing behind him on her butt and another guy was skiing off her tail. And at that moment I knew I wanted this mare.
This is the unicorn. This is what we all dream of, right? Isn't that what Prince says? It's what we all dream of. I don't think I can... Can't fit. Well, if Kristen can't fit, can't nobody fit. cleaned out her front two feet while ago. She did have an abscess in the front left foot, which we popped. And tonight the uh, farrier is going to pull her shoes and trim her really nice because her shoes are too small that are on her and she still gates that good. That was another thing I was kind of waiting on for a video is to get her feet done and to get her teeth floated. But I think you can still see how amazing that she is. And when I get those two things done, she's just gonna be even better. Get the rain up there. Self load. Not all horses self load. We've got three that do right now Dixie's Tornado. Uh, we have got End of Watch, and this girl here. They will self-load themselves. You don't have to do anything, but bring them up to it and tell them to get in. She found crumbs. She found crumbs. <laughs> and that is a short but sweet video of Miss Sheba. Just so that you've got something to decide whether or not you want to make the trip here and meet her. If you don't, I totally understand. I think that she will not last long no matter what. Man, she's nice. We're going to go put the stick on her so that I can get the information right. And I will have it all in the description. <laughs> okay, so Sheba is about to meet the dinosaur. We've only done this with one other horse, and that was Slick. And that was also Kristen's lesson horse, but we did just recently sell him. So... We're going to see what she thinks about a dinosaur coming at her. Ah. That's the first time she's pawed, and she has been standing here for a minute, so I'll, I'll give her props, but I'm still also going to make her quit. I think it's filling up with air now. So far, her ears aren't even up. But it's coming at her. It's coming at her. I think she likes dinosaurs. The thing is literally shooting air in it as we're speaking. You can't eat my dinosaur soup, man. It's not cool. We <laughs> should, Kristen's going to hop up on her, because how often do you get to ride in a dinosaur suit? Not very often. I don't even know how she's going to hop up there with this thing on, so this will be fun. Just, just this part will be fun for video. <laughs> You're like me now trying to get on on the ground. <laughs> I told you guys I love my job. <laughs> All of them. <laughs> we have an air hole. Oh God, I would love to go down the highway with this. I can breathe. All right, take off. We sold Slick two weeks ago, I think, and we sold Dixie Tornado yesterday. So we are down to this girl, um, end of watch, 
and Mud's little coach, and I got a lady coming back today if she comes uh, to take Mud's little coach. You never know. I mean, sometimes people say yay and end up going nay, but pretty sure he is sold. He did perfect yesterday. She was in such a hurry to come see him because she kind of wanted Dixie and he had just sold. She was afraid he would sell fast. And she didn't even stop at the bank or get dressed. She just came in her pajamas <laughs> and said, I'll be back tomorrow with money. It's like, they, you know, all winter long we had these horses and none of them sold. Uh, most of them we got last fall, and we kind of expected that that could happen. A lot of times at Christmas people buy them up, but we always know that can happen, and it's not a big deal. I mean, it's just part of the horse industry, but when it comes spring and it starts getting warm, they they start flying off the shelf. So This girl is definitely not one that I'd wait around on, and if you can't see why watching this, 